Most agents, I can generalize and say, don't like secret shoppers. Watch this video to hear a story about an agent who actually got a secret shopper fired. Live vicariously. Hello, I'm Sylvia Gordon with Gordon Marketing. And I want to talk to you about an agent from New York who actually got a secret shopper fired. Now, not against all the secret shoppers that are out there doing a good job trying to help protect the Medicare dollar, protect the carrier's interest, and try to weed out bad agents, which is their role. But we all know, if you've sold insurance longer than a year, that there are a ton of these secret shoppers that do not do a good job. You used to be able to always pick out the secret shoppers because they were always like a 35-year-old woman and she's like, I'm shopping for my dad, I'm trying to help my mom, and you always knew they were a secret shopper because they'd ask really weird intense questions that no actual person would ask. Now they actually are hiring people that are on Medicare, people that have a Medicare card that could actually apply for a plan. And so that's, a, in my opinion, it's a better product because we can't pick them out right away. And ideally, since it's your right demographic, you might have somebody that's actually asking appropriate questions that an actual consumer on Medicare would ask. So what happened to the agent in New York is that he got a complaint one of his agents got a complaint and the secret shopper said that the agent said that there was a benefit that he mentioned in the plan that was not in the plan. And so he fought back and he said, no, that's not true. And the carrier, as carriers are wont to do, just said, look, you got to go with it. This is the response. Go through the remediation module, meet with a, whatever your local rep and you'll be rehabilitated and you'll be good to go. And he's like, I'm not going to do that. What I said was correct. I can tell you exactly what the policy says because I have the benefits. So he sent back the benefits and he said, this is what the benefits say. What I said was true. So he said, I'm going to fight this. And he fought it to fruition. He said the secret shopper lied. The secret shopper was unfounded in what he said. And he actually got the secret shopper filed, fired. And it took him like a month. So he had to waste his time. And many of you would say, well, that's wasted opportunity cost. He should have just said, forget it, sign the thing, I moved on. But the point is you do have rights as an agent. And we do sometimes feel like this is an unfair system with these secret shoppers. They're calling us. I can always tell a secret shopper calls me because like, hey, I need to buy uh, the Coventry HMO plan two. And I'm like, okay. I said, well, um, why did you call me? And she'll say, well, I got your number from a friend and she recommended you highly. And then you're always like, oh, well, thank you. You know, you're always so flattered by the, then you say, well, who, who exactly? You know, I want to think who it was. And then they never know. It's just a secret shopper. They're just targeting you. The bigger the agent, the more you're targeted because you're targeted by each carrier. So remember, the government itself has secret shoppers. CMS employs secret shoppers. The carriers employ their own secret shoppers. And if you're sitting in a retail location, CVS would have their own. Walmart would have their own. If there are other, other retail spites like HEB, they could have their own secret shopper. They're all trying to protect the product. None of you like secret shoppers. Wouldn't it be funny if all retired insurance agents became secret shoppers? That's like our last career. But just remember, you do have rights. And when you are in the right, not just with secret shoppers, but with any type of agent complaint, that you do have the right to defend yourself. Take the appeals, uh, what's the word I want? Take the appeals seriously and enlist your FMO to help you to put your case together that if you are not guilty of something that you don't just take it because it does accumulate on your record, you do have a scorecard with the carriers. If this video helped, please subscribe, work with Gordon Marketing, call us so we can help you more. We have over 503 training videos on our channel and we'd love to work with you more.